Hello folks, and welcome back to Pixie Plays Lost Crown. <laughs> Is it the legend or just <laughs> I don't fucking know. Let's get out of this disgusting room and go into another disgusting room. Oh, what could I have done? Sound? Oh, it sounded like a, a wave file. Oh look! Broken paper on the ground there. To reveal a journal. Did you push the plate journal? Ooh. Oh no. March 14th, 1952. The cottage is ready. I could never have believed this old storehouse could look so charming. The view from the window is truly delightful. Who would have thought such a humble building could offer so much? Oh my god. I'm so impressed. <laughs> the carpenters of Saxton have followed my instructions well. Even the door frames have small windmill motifs, which Christina's shirt find charming. I count the minutes until her arrival. Oh. What is going on out there? I can hear the spirits. Uh, March 23rd, night. Okay. Uh, Christina arrived this afternoon. It is wonderful to have her here in the Harbor Cottage. At last, Saxton. Uh, oh, wait, at last. Saxton welcomed her, but still she seems unsure of the place. I will have to introduce her to the others as soon as possible. It is important that she warms to the place, as I intend us to stay for many, many years. The locals have taken to her, as I hoped they would. We celebrated Saxton's newest arrival with drinking, dancing, and singing within the warm paneled rooms of the bear. Christina wishes to continue her work as soon as possible. This is a wonderful sign. If she can sew, stitch, and weave, then I know she will be content to live here in this old town with me. Christina is sick. Something we ate, she said, but I ate the same as she. I have put her to bed and disturbed her sleep only to bring water. My work will take me away from town for several days, but can I leave her? A strange face in a strange town. No, I will have to stay by her side. Her beautiful hair has begun to thin. Oh, I have kept this news from her. It can be no good. <laughs> what if she notices already, though? Oh, the other pages appear to be blank. Wow. That's very odd. <laughs> I've never seen a journal just empty. Almost like he's lost for words or something. Oh. I'm gonna try to open it real quick. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I want to open them at the same time. What do you see down there, my love? It's like cans of food. That's very odd. Alright. Whatever you say, lover boy. Okay. Um, what were we. Uh. Okay, what should I do now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What should I do, Denver? What's up here? Explain to Haddon Beck. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have to call Haddon. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, if I hadn't have forgot, <laughs> then we would have done it quicker. She. Ha ha. Fuck. All right, let's go to the phono. Hmm. Swipe some lobsters while we're at it. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, there's boats in our way. Oh fuck. There's also a man out there. Hello, man. Someone, Someone really big. That's a big guy. He's big from this distance. Alright. He's rummaging around. Alright, um. Maybe I'm not supposed to call Haddon because I can't go over there right now, so we'll just go here. Alright, let's see. Forgot. Probably close that window, I feel, as if someone can squeeze through it. You lay spirits squeeze through the window? Is that how they get it? Home, sweet. Oh, home. fuck. Shut up. So, but that's my catchphrase. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, Denvers. I got tired all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, my God. What's in there? <laughs> Ow! Ghost cat. My favorite. There's someone in there. Someone in there. I, well, I guess it's someone. I don't usually say someone when I talk about 
animals, but whatever. An animals rights activist. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, beautiful. The Great Northfield Stag, donated to the bear by Frederick Ager. What's it doing in here? Oh, yummy. Thank you, dear, for just giving me that key. Don't know where I got it from, but... Apparently you're still a juicy deer. There's someone in there. Oh my god. Well, why don't we let them out? There you go. <gasps> oh no. That's strange. Something was trying to get out. Try the pillows. Goodbye, pillows. I'm gonna trap you in here again. There we go. Chick, chick. Alright, well, solve that mystery, sort of. Hey. What if it's just happened? Oh. Oh my god. I feel creepy for watching him sleep. Also, I like how they put the camera right close to his face. Like Tones haunt my nightmares. Actually, when I was a kid, the dial up tone did scare me. Ooh, someone's a knocking. Oh, he looks so happy. Are you well rested, my love? Look at the candle, it's huge! I know it's close to me. Night one! First impressions. The cottage is a dump. <laughs> really depressing, filthy, derelict, but beggars can be choosers. And the place does have, well, it's hard to explain. I think it may be haunted. It's a pretty good way of explaining it. Track down. Is there such a space there? T rack down. The girl from the train. Learn what I can from her wallet. Alright. Explore the town after nightfall. Learn more about the legend of the three Anglo Saxon crowns of Anglia. Ooh. What is the lost crown? Dig out some info on Harbor Cottage. There must be a story or two. Who was that old woman on the beach? How did she know my name? Explain to Haddon. Beg if need be. Okay, he actually wrote that, did he not? Earlier. I don't know. Let's look out the window. The boat's still there. Scary. They don't take the boats in at night. I guess not. Oh, place cleaned up a little bit. It seems I'm always ready to entertain. Has someone been here? Been here. Not out now. Doctor, <laughs> Mister, Mister Denver's. I am deeply sorry about the state of the cottage. It's so neglected. No one has stayed for a while. It's been practically forgotten. My brother bought the place in auction back in the 80s with plans to turn it into something special, but after buying the place, well, he kind of fell out with it. He had a bad accident on the stairs. I've had a bit of a clean-up um, and lit some candles. There's no electricity to the main rooms. Rats have made meals of the cabling long ago. As for the kitchen, it's useless. I've, <laughs> I've had a world word with Uncle Slaughter. Is Uncle Slaughter the same as Sergeant Slaughter? Who knows the Lighthouse Cafe? Oh, and he says you can dine there for free! Wow, I'm also refunding half the tra tariff, which you can settle up later in the week. It's a long time since anyone has stayed in this old cottage, so I wish you well. Morgan Minkle, then Lady of the Bear. P.S. Give the local competition a go. Leaflet attached. It's like P.S.S. I took the liberty of changing your clothes while you slept. Nice. I don't want to answer the door. But okay, I guess I will. Oh, fuck. I'm so scared. Wait, does this work? Ooh, I hear some static. Uncle Slaughter. I like that name. Owns a restaurant, too. Ironic if it was like a vegan restaurant. That would be kind of fun. Well, that would be funny. Is there anybody there? I'm the traveler, knocking oh. on the moonlit door, and his horse in the silence. Ch 
tramped the grasses of the forest's ferny floor, and a bird flew up out of the turret above the traveller's head, and he smote upon the door again a second time. Is there anybody there? He said. Oh, nice. May not have cable, but we have poetry. All right, I guess we'll go out now. <laughs> Hello. throw my jacket at them first. Ah, yes. Very nice. Let's walk over here a little bit. Alright. <gasps> Chilling. Look, he disappeared. Who is that? Maybe I should follow. Perhaps. Probably. Did they bring a weapon? No. <gasps> it's Hardacre. What could he... I'll what? lose him if I don't pick up the train. For, for fuck's sakes, if you talk and then you just stop, then you, of course you're going to lose him. Ooh. I must find out what he's up to. Oh my god, Rick, you're just talking to the walk. Why did we stop so far away? No. Oh. Pierre's trying to keep up. Hey there. He's doing a better job than Denver's. Mr. Hardacre, you're a hard man to follow, <laughs> and you'll be lost you. Just, no. Not interested. I brought you here for a reason, and one reason only. I want you to leave Saxton at your first convenience and never come back. Hmm. What? Now look here, you can't order people about. I'm no threat to you, like you pointed out. Hmm. I know nothing about geology or archaeology. That's not the half of it. There's mystery and danger involved. Exciting. You know nothing about this town or the land around us. So, is that a crime? <laughs> it takes skill, understanding, oh, and a strong mind to find what's hidden out there in the fens. Mm. It's an old land which can be unforgiving to those who blunder in with their eyes closed and their chins wagging. Mm. Just trying to waggle my chin. Ah. Danger? What danger? Mm. It's as I thought. You know nothing yet. Well, Are you threatening me, Mr. Hardacre? No, you fool. I'm trying to warn you. Take that cottage, harbour cottage, that you'll be staying in. Know much about it, do you? You know I don't. It's a small place, a bit stuffy, but nice enough. Listen out, tonight, as you're drifting into sleep. Listen for the sounds. Mm. Sounds? What sounds? Are you saying the cottage is haunted? You'll know soon enough. They always do. <laughs> Those lobsters were foreboding. All right, um... An old land? Mm. Some parts of our land have seen great things. Terrible. Others have seen murder, great. disease, and disaster. Disgusting. If you look close enough, you can see the signs. Mm. A landscape can seem empty and desolate when the sun sets low and the wind chills the blood. But the land is never empty. It echoes with the voices of those that have gone before. Pagan warrior kings, great gods, and fearsome beasts. <sighs> Keep your eyes and ears open, and you'll know soon enough. Well, I... I mean, aren't you trying to get me to leave? Shouldn't you, like, not make me curious? What are the fates? What are the fates? What are? <laughs> An ancient world of murky waters and whispering leaves. So poetic. They surround us on all sides. Very romantic. Wrapping us here, so to speak. Mm. Take a walk tomorrow morning out across the shore through the Fenland Eye. Mm. The Fens will be waiting like those who dwell there. They are always waiting. Thank God, Ardaker.